Hi everyone. In Chapter Seven, we are going to、uh, learn how to report and value、uh, three current assets: cash, accounts receivables, and note receivables. Okay, so、uh, receivables basically include、uh, accounts receivable and notes receivable. Their difference is accounts receivable is a you know oral contract. A note receivable is, um, a written promissory. That means there is a formal contract okay, between, uh, the two parties of interest. First, cash. So what is cash? Yeah. So we know cash is what we refer to money. Right, but in accounting, it not only include money. We re、um, usually refer. It includes coins, currencies, the dollar bills. It also includes deposits, money order, checks. Okay, all kinds of checks. And also, bank drafts. And saving accounts, etc. Because money is the medium of exchange, right? So it is most liquid assets. So basically, it means,、uh, in the market economy, if you have money, if you have cash, you can buy anything available. So it is most liquid assets. Okay. For sure, it is reported as current assets. Always the first one. So what's the value we report cash? Yeah. So cash, we just report the value, the face value. Of the money, right?、Uh, if you have one hundred one hundred dollars bill, you report one hundred dollars cash in your balance sheet, okay? And uh, um, some firms they、uh, also combine cash with other、uh, very liquid assets, the cash equivalent. So what's a cash equivalent? They are not cash. They are most likely are. Financial investments, okay, but、uh, they are so near to their maturity. That means the firms can easily turn them into cash. Okay, so for example, if a firm purchases the cherry bill, we know it's easier to buy and sell, right? Which is backed by the、uh, government, commercial bill and the mar. Uh, money market funds. So these are very liquid financial investments. Okay. So these we classified as cash equivalent because they are so liquid. Okay. They so they are near cash, although they are not cash by themselves. Okay. So they can be converted into cash quickly, usually within three months. There are some other things about cash. Some cash may have restrictions. So the restrictions actually reduce the liquidity of cash. Okay, although they're money, but、uh, they are subject to some restrictions. For example, some cash are reserved for future investment, the plant expansion. Or is just used for the retirement of long term debt, okay, or the compensating balances. So these are cash, but the firm cannot use them freely. Why? Because there are restrictions, okay.、Um, what's compensating balance? Compensating balance is the, you know,、uh, a minimum bank account balance. That a borrower agrees to maintain with the lender. Okay, so, uh, if you if a firm borrow money from bank, okay, some banks may ask the borrower to have a minimum deposit in the bank, so the bank can actually use the money. Um, so this is to protect the interest of lender. Uh, because this protection, so the borrower also can have lower interest rate. Okay, so restricted cash may not be reported as 
cash. Okay, so their money. So that will confuse the investors who reuse the financial statement. So firms should disclose the amount of restricted cash. Okay, so this cash may not be reported as cash or cash equivalent, may be reported as other assets. Another issue is bank overdraft. Okay, so in general, it is reported as current liabilities. Okay, because well, bank overdrafts means the the company, you know, write a check more than the amount it has. So it is kind of like a, a short-term loan from the bank, right? Because you use the money of the bank, not yours. So it is reported as current liability in general. Yeah, it can also offset cash accounts if it is you know, a, with a same bank. Okay, so that's the reports and the valuation. For valuation of cash, there is no issue. Okay. Um, and uh, the reporting, we just report. Uh, there's some issue about the report. We do not rely on the name of the assets. Okay, some assets, like some cash, we can, we may not report it as cash. We report it in other accounts. So this is a summary of the cash classification.